I would just say that we are preparing ourselves for a very different environment from everything that I've just heard uh, in, the, in, in the opening of the show. Um, bear market rallies will come along. They will be sharp. They will be painful for people who overstay their welcome on the short side. You can have stocks that have fallen 80 percent go up 20 percent in two days. It still doesn't make a dent in the long-term chart. It does make a dent if you're leveraged and you're short or you used options and you have to pay the piper. So it's not going to be fun in either direction, but the main trend is still lower. Now we're starting to see credit spreads blowing out. We're starting to see uh, some stuff happen in the triple C group. Um, and we're going to see that spread, I, I would suspect, in the coming months. The banks are already pr uh, pricing in much, much more bankruptcy activity than we would have saw, thought even two or three months ago. The war is a game changer. Historically, we have never had, a, had an inflation spike to this degree that wasn't quickly cured by a recession. The good news is corporate balance sheets are outstanding and America's best companies should have no problem weathering this downturn. Consumer balance sheets are very good as well. I think most households should be okay here. Um, but we have to be thinking about the R word. I, I'm, I'm not an economist, not a prediction. I'm just telling you 10 times in a row when we've had an, an inflationary spike event like this, recession has been the thing that's come after. That's right. So you could bet this time is very different. And the 11th time, it won't work out that way. And that might be true. Don't forget, the pandemic has screwed with everybody's uh, charts and data and economics. But um, I don't think it's appropriate to be looking at a day with the Dow up 300 points and making a grand pronouncement about, OK, this is the bottom. Maybe it is. The odds are that it's not. Well, I'm sure they're and, looking at I'm sure know, they're looking at more than just a day's activity. I know I know Kerry is. But nonetheless, and Dr. J, I'm going to ask for your patience. They're looking at the little... multiple coming down. Yeah, well, it's come down a lot. Judge, they're looking, they're it's looking, at, PE. It's they're looking at the P.E. multiple coming down. Yeah, but the problem is that the E is going to start coming down, too. So, so as was just cited by, by our last uh, guest, you're seeing negative earnings revisions. And it's been a long time since we've seen them. Mm -hmm. And historically, that is not a one-quarter phenomenon. It's very rare. So... Look, I don't want to be right about this. I don't want to be the guy that comes on TV and upsets everybody. And certainly, I'm not telling you it's impossible that we're not at a bottom. I'm just giving you, like, the weight of the evidence. It's going to be tough. Hey. And the good news is, the good news is, see, uh, Carrie is right, Seachin is right, yep. uh, Brad is right. If your time frame is three to five years from now, most of this won't matter, and if you're a buyer, it'll actually be good. Look. But can you hang out the way you are for six months to a year? I hope you're positioned correctly for that.